Hey, it's Dame Morsair, and today we're actually going to do a double review. Because today here we've got the uh, two Nendoroids, the Vocaloids uh, Kagemine, Rin, and Len. The uh, cheerful version for the cheerful Japan charity thing that Good Small Company's been doing. So we got number 189 for Rin and 190 for Len. And uh, yeah, so basically they're obviously re releases of the old Nendoroids with some new accessories. So there's Rin's box and Len's box. And, uh, yeah. So, here's the two of them. And, well, obviously it makes sense to review them together because they are twins after all. And while they aren't sold together, they kind of sort of go together anyways. But, uh, yeah, so here they are. <clears throat> so obviously more or less in their original poses, not with any of the new parts yet, but we'll get to that later. So I guess we'll just start looking at Rin. It's pretty nice. Uh, her belt there looks pretty good and other than that, um, you can see like some of the little whatchamacallits on her arm there. Not too much to look at for details, but yeah. And Len, obviously he's got his keyboard, which looks pretty good. And yeah. There you go. And well then, as far as accessories go, there are three other faces for each of them. Obviously, for Rin, there's a standard face, and then standard face for Len. And then uh, you got this excited face for Rin, and for Len, he has an embarrassed face. And then they both have blank faces. And the reason for that is that they both come with stickers. And actually, they had to uh, delay it, to delay releasing them because... Um, the stickers that they put in the box sometimes would get bent, so they put separate sheets in with the uh, packages and whatnot. But yeah, so there's the stickers that uh, come with that are for Len. So you can see that. And then for Rin as well. So you can uh, make your own Nendoroid face, which is an interesting gimmick. And um, yeah, actually for mine on Rin, I'll just take it out of the box a second. Hold on. I can do this. But yeah, uh, for uh, Rin, mine actually did get bent towards the bottom corner there. 
It also comes with a postcard. So there you go. So yeah, it, it, it does happen. It happened for me anyways. So you can see why they did that. But uh, in any case, as for the other accessories, you have, you know, standard arms and bent legs. And the same for Len as well. And then for the new accessories, Rin has a whistle that she can hang around her neck as well as a separate one to hold. And they both come with two pom-poms, which she just sort of attach via that peg there. And they also both come with two flags like this, so you can kind of combine them or write your own message on the back or whatever, whatever you please. And then Len also comes with a megaphone and these other parts to for holding it. Obviously, you just switch the parts around and then, yeah, usual sort of thing. And then also a speech plate, which is to go with the megaphone. So it looks like words are coming out of it. I believe that says like Ganbare Japan or something. Not really sure, but and it also comes with a blank one so you can put whatever you want on it. But yeah, I'll just uh, see what else we can do here. Be right back. Okay, and then here we have them utilizing the new stuff. So there you go. You can uh, have them hold it like that and then combine the flag together. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I tried putting the stickers on one of the faces. So, I guess that gives you an idea of what that looks like. It's kind of uh, hard to get them in the right spot, though. So, eh, you know, it's a nice gimmick, I guess. But in the end, I think I'd rather a uh, good smile uh, handle that stuff for the most part. But... In any case, uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. Obviously, the uh, other thing I should mention is they're updated from the original, so now you can swap the faces with other Nendoroids, which the old ones, you couldn't do that. Or so I'm told. Obviously, I don't have the old versions that's the reason I bought these in the first place and obviously they have the new type of stand of course as you can see right before you but uh, yeah they're nice um, they're not necessarily my most favorite of the Vocaloids but I like them and uh, that's pretty much it one other th thing that though that I kind of had trouble with is the joints for some reason seemed a bit looser so it was kind of hard for me to get the heads on to their necks at least with these faces the really uh, happy faces doesn't I don't know if it's really a problem with this one but I don't know I had a lot of trouble with that and it was really annoying so I just thought I'd mention that but in any case that's pretty much it for this one so this is Day Morsair and until next time goodbye